polls show a majority of your supporters have expressed the belief that anti-white racism now represents a greater problem in the country than anti-black racism. Do you agree? Trump. Oh, I think that there's a lot to be said about that. I think there is a definite anti-white feeling in this country, and that can't be allowed either. No, God, please, no, no, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to tell you before I say it that it enraged me. Hello and welcome back to another view of The Spew, America's most watched dystopian propaganda show. Now you're probably wondering what undeniable fact Whoopi Goldberg is denying this time. Before I get to that, let me list off a few of the insane, probably racist statements to come from The View. Such as Whoopi denying the Holocaust motivations because she sees it as white on white mass murder. Whoopi denying the results of the 2016 election, which she believes was stolen from Clinton. Whoopi has claimed on more than one occasion that Republicans Republicans, quote, want to bring back slavery. She also claimed that white people need to be beaten by police, as if that doesn't happen already. Plus, it's kind of psychopathic to say an entire group of people need to be beaten by government enforcers. Sonny Hostin recently said that all white people are racist and that all white people today are, quote, reaping the benefits of slavery. Don't sit here and tell me one side of the story that black people may have had an enhancement when white people really benefited the most and continue to do so today. We'll and banking. I believe that's what they are trying to hide. Talking. Which is freaking hilarious because her ancestors weren't just slave owners, but super motivated Latino lovers of African slavery. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican. A human. <laughs> <laughs> and just recently, they all lost their minds because their guest, who's a black author, argued against wokeism and discriminating against white people. Because those are two things that Whoopi and Hostin very much support. I think the premise is fundamentally flawed. You, you claim that colorblindness was the goal of the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. Based upon Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech, you know, content of character versus the um, color of skin. <laughs> Yeah. Your argument for colorblindness, I think, is something that the right has co-opted. And so many in the black community, if I'm being honest with you, because I want to be, believe that you are being used as a pawn by the right and that you're a charlatan of sorts. He's, he's... In New York have been left in ruins. Good God. With that being said, check out this clip and I'll comment afterwards. I'm going to tell you before I say it that it enraged me. Yeah, no, nobody I... gives a fuck. There is a definite anti-white feeling in the country right now. Oh, please. Yeah, that's what he said. You know, sir. No, sir. Yeah, sir. <laughs> Nobody in your family was hung. Here's a good idea. Have a point. Wait a minute, hold up. How does what happened to Trump's ancestors have anything to do with the mainstreaming of anti-white racism? Nothing! <laughs> Nobody in your family was chased because of the color of their skin. How dare you? There's no anti-white issue here. I think that white people are committed to being villains. The thing I want to say to you is we got to take these motherfuckers out. Whiteness is going to have an end date because it, it is not, despite what white people think of themselves, they do not defy the laws of eternity, right? All things that begin end. White folks are not infinite and eternal. Right. There's no anti-white issue here. You are perpetrating anti-humanist issues here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and disagree with you there. Quick question, is it anti-human to call out racism against any other group on this earth? Oh, you're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you, you're always right. If I were on the set with these ghouls, I'd ask Whoopi how the hell she would even know, being a rich, privileged black woman that lives in New York City luxury. Like I pointed out at the start, Whoopi and Hostin both have clearly racist views when it comes to white people. And that came out very clearly during their interview with Coleman Hughes, who argued against racial discrimination against whites to fix past discrimination. I did a video on it, and you can find the link to that at the end of this video. Sure, the rich white people
people that she encounters on a daily basis probably don't experience a lot of direct racism. Although I'd argue there's an awful lot of it out there directed at them, which is probably why these rich white people feel the need to implement DEI policies at their companies, which has led to many discrimination lawsuits that white people and Asians have both won. And that's exactly why you're seeing a lot of people on the left jump off the DEI bandwagon. Um, DEI is, look, there's some great things about DEI. Incorrect. But it's not all, you know, roses. And I think it need, we need to take a look at it and we need to sort of do some rejiggering because it, it's gone too far. It's become a religion. And right. if you don't abide by the religion, exactly. then you get, you know, you get kicked out of the church. Holy testicle Tuesday. Now, if there was no systemic racism or racial discrimination against white people happening, then how are they winning these lawsuits? The same thing is going on at our universities, which is why we see this open racism against whites and now increasingly against Jews as well, who woke supremacists like Whoopi just see as white. Look, when your campuses are hosting end whiteness events and chasing white people off campus so that, quote, people of color can feel safe, then you've officially crossed into legitimate racial discrimination. It doesn't suddenly become good because of who it's focused on. And that's exactly why we see a lot of these Marxist woke supremacists putting a lot of effort into redefining words like racism so that these people can just be openly racist towards white people, then tell themselves it's something other than that. Oh, that was different. So perhaps that's what Whoopi means. By her Marxist redefinition of the word racism, there's no racism against white people. I'm not even going to get into all the violence against white people of which there are a lot of racially motivated attacks, but unfortunately, our media does their best to cover those up because they believe that if they were to report on these stories, then there would be some sort of negative backlash against those communities. Meanwhile, they have no problems whatsoever directing that negative attention at the white communities. What do you all think? Am I wrong? Is there legitimate racism against white people being promoted in this country by our institutions? Let me know in the comments, and then if you're still here, might as well hit that like button. And as always, make sure to keep checking back for new videos. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one.